The Tesla Gigafactory has officially opened in Austin, Texas. The word Giga does not do justice to the sheer area and size of the factory. The Texas Gigafactory is located on about 2,100 acres of land on the east of Austin Bergstrom International Airport. The location has about 3 kilometers of exposure to the Texas Colorado River. The massive production factory is said to hire up to 5,000 workers at an average salary of $47,147 per year. The minimum salaries for entry-level positions start at $35,000 per year. In the US alone, Tesla employs about 10,000 people at the Gigafactory in Fremont. Are you ready to work at the new Texas Gigafactory? Get your resumes polished and get ready! The opening of the Gigafactory was spectacular. To celebrate the Gigafactory opening, Tesla invited 15,000 people to the main event called Cyber Rodeo. The event housed 15,000 guests who got to listen to live music, eat, and got to watch Elon in person. Were you lucky enough to join the event in person? Let us know in the comments! This Gigafactory in Texas is Tesla's fourth factory in the United States. This was inaugurated after the vehicle production plant in Fremont, a battery factory in Sparks, Nevada, and a solar factory in Buffalo, New York. Tesla also has two factories outside of the US, one production vehicle factory situated in Shanghai, China, and the recently opened Giga Berlin, Germany. In this video, we'll be talking about how fast this factory was built, what's inside of Giga Texas, what cars it will produce, in addition to the in-house produced batteries and the battery packs, and where Tesla is headed in the future. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the size in detail. We already discussed that the Giga factory covers about 2,100 acres of land. The middle section of the factory is three quarters of a mile long and one quarter of a mile wide. The factory has four levels, which are approximately seven stories high. The floor space has to be huge, right? Well, yeah. The floor space spans approximately 8 million square feet. The diamond-shaped factory is not a single unit of architecture. Actually, there are three separate buildings built vertically to allow roadways to run through the factory. This architecture will also help large trucks to easily navigate through the factory to pick up and offload any vehicles. Compared to the Gigafactory in Berlin, the Texas factory is much bigger in size, with a lot more room for docking bays. Now, let's talk about the vehicles the Giga Texas will output. Step 1 is going to be the production of the Model Y. The production for both the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi-Truck is set to start in 2023. Talking about in-house production, Tesla will also produce a full production line for the 4680 batteries in Giga Texas. Elon's vision for a purely automated factory might come true with Giga Texas. This vision incorporates machines that will automate the vehicle building process with every part assembled and configured by robots. To date, we have only seen automated machines building other machines in movies. But this soon may become true for Giga Texas, as it can house all of the spare parts required to manufacture a vehicle. The production plant in Fremont, California is a poor example of automated vehicle manufacturing, as you require all of the parts of the vehicle to be produced in the same factory. The Fremont unit cannot even manufacture all of the necessary production units for the body alone under a single roof. The Gigapress machines are installed in the parking lot of the Fremont factory. The sheer size of the Giga Texas checks all of the boxes required to build a truly automated vehicle manufacturing plant. Even the battery packs for the vehicle manufactured in Fremont are manufactured and shipped from Nevada for the final assembly. Let's discuss the production unit in Shanghai, China. This unit is very close to the autonomous idea of vehicle manufacturing as they have fit all of the vehicle manufacturing equipment inside of the factory. The Shanghai unit does not have in-house battery manufacturing, but they do have Tesla's battery manufacturing partners nearby. It was rumored that the entire roof of Giga Texas would be covered with solar panels, which may be true. Experts speculate that Tesla will cover their Giga Texas roof with solar panels placed in such a way that it reads Tesla. To manage the huge amount of energy produced by those solar panels, Tesla has announced to build a massive battery energy storage system 
BESS near the Gigafactory. If you're enjoying the content, like the video and subscribe so that the YouTube algorithm can suggest this content to more people. Let's recap the production vehicles at Giga Texas. As of now, only Model Y cars will be manufactured, but surprisingly these Model Ys will be different from the Model Y manufactured in Fremont. Giga Texas is making full use of die casting technology with a large section of the production floor dedicated to Tesla's Giga Press machine. These are humongous mechanical presses that use 6,000 tons of force to press molten aluminum alloy into molds. These casting machines are powerful enough to create both the front and rear quarters of the vehicle frame using one single piece. No other automaker has ever been able to implement such a large single piece casting into their production line. The upshot of this technology is pretty simple. Instead of sticking together a bunch of small parts to try and make one big one, Tesla can use this injection method to form liquid metal directly into one large solid part. Tesla has been doing this successfully for about a year now, with the rear section of the Model Y frame, but production at Giga Texas doubles that up with a casted front section as well, so the entire frame, from the driver's feet to the front bumper, is all one solid piece of aluminum. This helps to make the car stronger, lighter, more resistant to corrosion, and leads to less manufacturing defects. Let us know in the comments if you would rather buy a Tesla Model Y from the Fremont factory or from Giga Texas. Now let's move on over to the in-house produced 4680 battery. This form of battery design is very efficient and powerful. Elon aims to fit the cells into a structural battery pack. This again indicates that Tesla will be producing large-scale battery packs. The 4680 cells go into the battery pack, and the battery pack directly goes into the frame casting, making it more modular. Surprisingly, the seats are mounted directly on top of the battery pack. Ultimately, Tesla will start manufacturing the 4680 in-house in the Giga Texas plant, and in Berlin, Germany, in a separate building near the production unit. Now comes the big question. How many cars will Tesla produce in the first year of manufacturing at Giga Texas? What is your favorite Tesla? Most of us here at Tech & Check prefer the Model Y and the Model S. Will you be buying the Cybertruck? Will Tesla be able to achieve complete autonomous operation in Giga Texas? Join the conversation in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like the video and help us create similar informative content. If you're a huge fan of the multi-talented tech billionaire Elon Musk like us here at Tech & Check, smash that like button and share that love our way as well. Till then, from all of us here at Tech & Check, have a great day ahead and we'll see you in the next video.